Lala. Lala. It's not going to make for a good video, Lala. Come here. Hey. Lala. What do you smell in that bed? Here. Here. Come here. Lala. Hey. Come here. Lala, come here. Bye, Lala. I'm leaving. Drop it, Lala. Drop it here. Come here. Hey, Lala. Sit, sit, Mama. Sit, sit, Mama, Lala. Hi, Mama. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Get it, Lala. Hey, guys, this is Amy with 100 Plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. Can you see me? Can you see Lala? There you guys are. Sorry, sorry. I'm sitting here and I'm seeing no names popping up on the video and I see this square with a number. And I was like, this is weird. I've never seen this before. Sorry about that. Hey everyone, it's been forever. It has been forever. Oh my God, I can't even remember the last time that we took a video, or I took a video, since all the hurricane madness disrupted our, thank God everybody's okay, and I don't even want to talk about it. I just, I'm just so grateful right now. Um, we're exhausted. But we're getting everything back up and running with all our rescues. Um, for all of you that are <laughs> jumping on right now, this is Mommy Lala. She probably, you probably don't even recognize her. Yeah, Mama. Mommy Lala, we rescued months ago. Uh, we rescued her. She was living under a trailer in Miami with her beautiful, beautiful puppies. And one puppy has left. The remainder have all been um, hmm, adopted. There's one actually pending. And uh, so there's two left. Two boys, Loki and Lincoln. Loki is spoken for, and Lincoln is still available. And Mommy Lala is here at the animal hospital at Imperial Point VCA. And um, she looks amazing. Can I have your baby, Mommy? Can I have your baby? She's actually going to get spayed this week. And she is ready for a forever home. This is what she does. See? I'm laying, I'm sitting on the floor. She has this big room upstairs at the hospital, and she has comforters and toys, and she has a big, huge, cushy dog bed. Um, speaking of dog beds, guys, oh my God, I came in this morning, and we have like no dog beds. There's two to three dog beds in our storage, so we are desperate. Anybody that has dog beds, please... Um, gently use small, medium, large, whatever you have. Comforters such as these, all sizes. We are desperate need. Look at this. Look at you. No shame on you, mommy. No shame on you. Hi, beautiful girl. You're so beautiful. I'm back. Um, so yes, we desperately are in need of doggy beds, comforters, blankets. Please, if you can donate anything, use, new, whatever. 
Um, we greatly appreciate it. You can drop them off at the Animal Hospital, which is right here on Commercial Boulevard. It's the Imperial Point VCA. Uh, I can add the address when I shut this down. But I wanted to jump on because I haven't done a video in so long. Like I said before, the hurricane madness. Our team was scrambling to get um, these babies out of this animal hospital because they were without power, pretty much an evacuation uh, zone. And they did not, and they lost power. They were without power for like, I don't know, till Wednesday or Thursday. So we had to juggle and get all the dogs, mommies, babies, everybody out and safe, and we did. Um, it was a lot of work, but our team was amazing. And um, it cost us a pretty fortune, pretty penny, to get them out of here. So. Sadly, we have not been able to rescue. Um, we're just staying focused on our dogs like Lala, <laughs> um, who desperately needs a home. We have to spay her, um, and we have still uh, Mummy Diamond and her babies. Um, we've been dealing with her with severe diarrhea and constant cleanup of her, and her babies just got baths and vaccines and microchips and deworming. So. Um, yes, Susie, we do have power now. And Yvette, no, Mommy Lala is not adopted. She's still waiting. And she's, I mean, really? Really? She's perfection. La la. La la. La 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 la. See? Come get me, people. What are you waiting for? I'm perfect. I am perfect. I am perfect size. I am nothing but love. I want to be in your lap. What, Lala? Tell me. Kisses galore. Stop calling people. Okay, okay, come here, come here. Bring it, Lala. Bring it, Lala. And I'm gonna lose battery. How great is that? So prepared. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> it's been a while, so I am just definitely not prepared here. I'm getting rusty. Um, do Destiny, we, we're not sure, we believe so. We'd have to do a meet and greet for sure. Um, definitely no cats, no cats, but if it's the right dog, you know, yeah, I just walked her by a couple of dogs and she was fine. There was not even a growl or nothing, but we, of course we would have to do a meet and greet as we do with all of our dogs anyway, just because really Lala, <laughs> really get the flea. Look it, get the flea. Ready? Get the flea. Get it, Lala. You don't want that. Give it here. Give it here. Give it. This dog is amazing guys. I mean, amazing. She's going to make somebody the best companion, cuddle bug. She's just perfect. The last thing we need to do now that she's done nursing is spay her. And that's what we're going to do this week. Um, so, yes, this is my update. My first video in over a week, I think. I think it's been over a week. Well, I'm going to put your radio back on, okay? I'm going to go see Diamond. Where is the volume? Get down on it. Stay there, mommy. Get your, get your going. Stay. Do not even. No. Stay, mommy. This is what I have to do. She looks at me, and I have to close the door. She tells me. And then I have to watch her, and she breaks my heart. Mommy, I'm sorry. Please, guys, let's get her out of here, out of this room. She's done her deed. She's been such an amazing mom, nursing those babies under a trailer, um, nursing in a room for weeks. And uh, now it's her turn. Let's get Lala into home. Please, somebody here watching, please consider opening up your home to Lala, please. And Miss Diamond. I hope my connection stays on just for a few minutes. Hi, Mommy. You're spilling your water, aren't you? All right, come here. Let me open this. All right, I know. Oh, my goodness. What, what? I know, Diamond. I know. I put Diamond's picture up earlier on the page. Mummy Diamond, she's 30 to 34 pounds. She's a beautiful, sweet, one-year-old Malinois. And her puppies are done nursing, too. They're downstairs. They just got their vaccines. They're deworming. They're microchips. Um, we have one of the puppies adopted. We did a home check, so the female's adopted. We have three three males or two males. I don't even know. what Three males. Um... We have, so we have the puppy, the male puppies of Diamond. They're beautiful, and they're eight weeks of age. And now Mummy Diamond is going to be crying and missing her babies, and she so needs a place to call home, even if it's a foster. 
You know, I mean, I can't imagine. Like, I just took the puppies out of this room where they've been with her this whole time. And you can see she's a little frantic because she's looking for her babies. I know, Mama. I know. I know. But they're getting baths and stuff, Mommy. I know, Mama. I know. So it's going to kill us to, for her to be here by herself when the puppies leave. I mean, they're coming back tonight to be with her. Um, but they're going to be leaving and going to foster. And then we have Mommy by herself. Mama. And I can hear Lala in the next room jumping on the door because she wants me to come back because she hears my voice. Oh, she's a family dog, Destiny. She wants to be literally under your skin. I mean, she can't get close enough. If I sit on the couch, she's like wrapped around my neck, kissing my face off. She's amazing. She's amazing. And she's a baby. Um, so, and, you know, we, she's hot, warm, positive due to ignorance of these subhumans um, that treat their animals the way they do, that put these dogs in these positions, um, what they have to endure. And I don't know if you all were following. This should be for another video because I could go on and on and on. But um, all the people that were tying dogs to trees prior to the hurricane. I know, Mama. I'll take you out for a walk. We just went out, Mommy. We just went out. Come here. Um, all the people that were tying their dogs to trees and dumping them at kill shelters. And God, what the hell has happened to humanity? I mean, I just can't even wrap my head around these, what, what, what's happened. It's just disgusting. And, um,